Irish Design 2015 is really a flagship year about showcasing the very best of Irish design. Not only do we need to tell the story internationally, but we need to tell it at home. We need the public to know, we need our governments to know what a creative country we have and the creative potential of this country. And there have been over 500 events this year um, showcasing the depth of Irish design right across the country. Design is all encompassing and as such, we made sure when we were devising the programme that it covered every single aspect of design. So from the established ones that we, most people might recognise, such as fashion design, product design, furniture or architecture, but we've also engaged with a whole series of new emerging fields, such as service design, interaction design and food design. We've started doing our economic impact analysis and we know already that we're seeing a return on investment over tenfold. Design isn't just the cherry on top, it really impacts on the, the fundamental bottom line. From major corporations to the mid-size to the startups, design is actually becoming the currency by which we're actually making an impact for ourselves and our clients. We need to invite designers in at, at, the, at the concept phase of a business strategy. I think then you can really plant a seed and see it blossom. I think the real value in design can be gained when it's right at the heart of the company. Very often people imagine that design is an added extra. And for us as architects, it's somehow the balance between practicality and beauty. I love the idea that something that design shouldn't just be throwaway, it should also be about the beautiful things that we have in every moment of our lives. Ireland has such a rich cultural heritage of all the, all the craft work, all the design work that's come, so there's that, very much that heritage. The work that ID2015 is doing to just put a design on the map in Ireland and Irish design on the map globally is fantastic. And I think that in fact Irish Design 2015 has given the opportunity to Irish designers to travel internationally, to benchmark themselves against where they are in the world, which is as good if not better than anything. Um, that, that we've seen at all the different international fairs. We were really encouraged to see uh, the number of new design companies created this year, uh, registering with the Design Institute. We were really encouraged uh, at the level of interest in terms of uh, enabling uh, Irish designers to exhibit uh, and attend at trade shows abroad. Uh, we really see this as part of Ireland's economic success story uh, and we want to build on that now this year and ensure that the legacy of Irish Design 2015 is a very positive one, which I know it will be. We have really, really great time talents coming out. They're really fresh, they're really fast working, um, employing a whole rich range of materials and techniques. And the introduction of new technology to these students as well allows for a massive amount of opportunities for them. What this country can do in relation to design is going to be really significant in the next number of years. There is now an excitement and a buzz and an energy, and we need to deliver on that going into the future.